question this year. Good question, gentlemen. Good question. I will say that cryptic answer, kind of cute and telling you a little bit without kind of telling you anything. <laughs> but you know what? Mm-hmm. I mean, no. What? I mean, a bit of everything. <laughs> I just love life. <laughs> we can't tell you! You gotta watch! That's the best part of watching a show, is that you don't know what you're gonna expect. Like, if you went into a movie, and someone told you the end before you even started Would you want to watch that movie? No! no. You want to go for the journey? Yeah. Yeah, so just keep watching. <laughs> I was actually just talking about this with someone today, is that we try to keep Heartland so real that people believe that it's an actual place, that it's an actual real mm -hmm. reality mm -hmm. type show. So by bringing in people that are too recognizable, it almost ruins the illusion of it being a real place mm -hmm. because they're like wait a minute that's so and so and they're playing a different character like that doesn't make any sense so i think if we have a strong personality come on the show they would almost have to be playing themselves yeah you know like if jim carrey uh, were to show up on the yeah. set it would have to be jim carrey he can't be playing like somebody with a horse problem or he had like a crazy prosthetic that you didn't know okay was jim yeah 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 um uh, the other thing i was going to say was that maybe we could bring in someone like of a different like a completely different language that would or a different culture you know that that would be really That's, cool um yeah. you know something like from mongolia like that would be awesome mm -hmm. um that would be what i would say <laughs> we cover so many different really unique and interesting experiences on heartland and we're so lucky to be a part of it i absolutely love it because i get to work with different types of horses all the time and i get to explore things that i'm interested in that i probably wouldn't get the chance to if i wasn't on the show so i love doing the liberty work with the horses and i think if i was to write an episode it would be primarily based with Amy and horses working together and having just unique things that I don't get to do in my everyday life. So that would be the liberty work and, and training horses just like out in the beautiful, vast mm. Alberta mountainside. And That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would you just be about motorcycles? Well, I was going to say that originally and then I was like, wait a second, what would be really cool is if we like, Ty and Amy went like, or like maybe a group of people uh, went like ice climbing in like, you know, like in the Not mountains. expect that. Yeah, neither did I. It just kind of came to me and I was like, oh, that would be really cool. You That's know, because cool. we, we do a lot of stuff on the farm, but like to go up, like, you know, like yes. I saw pictures of you snowmobiling and stuff. Yeah, like to do we something it. away from the farm. Yeah, like, and like ice climbing would be like pretty epic, like with picks and stuff. I heard a rumor like of something avalanche and like, that we're doing this year that we've never done before that I am super, super excited about. That thing? That's that thing. so cool? No, I honestly did <laughs> hear something. Oh, really? Okay. That's so cool that I'm going to tell you right after this camera turns off because oh. you will think it's cool too. Oh, fun. You can't hear it, no, but you'll see it eventually. No, you're going to have to watch. Chris Potter is so good He's at playing best. that role. Yeah. He, it's funny, I think um, him and I have such a father-daughter relationship on set too, like we poke fun at each other and we joke and we laugh and I really enjoy my scenes with him because our relationship reminds me a lot of my father and my relationship oh, really? in real oh, life. that's cool. And so I pick up on a lot of things that are in the script that have actually happened between like conversations and the way about things and I go, wow, this is, it is, it brings in the, the realism of the show mm -hmm. because it is something that I can relate to and say, wow, that's exactly a conversation that I would have had with my dad. Oh, cool. Cool. What about you? Yeah, Chris Potter's cool. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it's kind of like the most exciting and fun way to meditate is go for a ride on a motorcycle. Um, because you get so clear-headed and you just get so chill and then after a ride you sit down and you have a drink or have a bite to eat and, and you know, you're out in nature, you're outside, preferably out in nature somewhere nice and you just feel at peace and um, it's just one of the best experiences and I love it. So I'm sure, Michael, you if you do ride, you've experienced something like this or maybe the same thing. Um, it's a great thing and for those of you who don't ride, it's a great experience. Motorcycle uh, commercial. Yeah, really. Uh, it's great, and that's what I love about it. Well, I like to think that I'm a very skilled trick rider, but that's not the case. I love trying new things with horses, and I've grown up around horses. I've been riding since I was five, and I've always liked to try things just outside of my comfort zone. And so when the trick riding came up, I was like, oh, can I do this? Like, this is so cool. But of course our insurance companies don't think that it's so cool when their lead actor get up, gets up on a horse and tries something that's maybe a little crazy. So I tried all the tricks, but the horse was standing, and I 
got into all different movements and things like that, and um, I'm not allowed to do it at a full gallop. I wonder why, but that makes perfect sense. So as much as my character looks like a pro, that is a professional trick rider doing those stunts, and I will get on the horse and lope around the field and then just pretend like I'm getting into them and do that kind of thing. I wanted to play like uh, like one of the little kids on the show. Like I think it'd be fun to be like a little kid on the show. But still in your physical form that yeah, you are now. Yeah, well, if, if that would be really funny if I was, you know, play a little kid. But if I could be I a little Spartan. kid on the show, just for a little bit, you know, because I think like even if you watch the show and then yeah. you would get to go and be like on the show, like that would be like a, a reality, like yeah. for a kid. I think that'd be awesome. I oh, I think so too. Yeah. I think I would like to play Ashley because it was a very contrasting role to mm. Amy mm -hmm. and just have like a totally different way about me and trying That would be interesting if, if, uh, if you and Cindy had switched Swapped. places. Oh yeah. Yeah, what the dynamic would have been. Huh. See the thing is, I automatically jump to the places that I want to visit, <laughs> but I think in the Heartland world, it has to be something that still makes sense. So here's a place that I love to visit and it would make sense. I think if Jack and Tim and a few of the characters went to um, a roping in Hawaii, because they hold a lot of different US ropings there, that's a reason that makes sense for the whole family to go on vacation because Jack doesn't like change, he doesn't like vacations, but if there was something he enjoyed, like a big roping, then we could all go to Hawaii and film there and it would be really fun and make sense for the show. I second that idea, and I would also propose that we go to Mexico and have a running of the bull scene. Okay. So Caleb and Ty are running away from a bull in like a street, and it's like bulls chasing us. We're like, oh my god! Why Mexico? Well, I don't know. I don't want to go to Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs>